Today we are leaving the old bread shop backpackers in Reefton and gonna check out one more thing before we actually leave the town. Reefton has this big gold mining history and what better to talk about this history with than some bearded miners, obviously. It's day 101 of our 365 days of 365 activities and today's priority is the bearded miners. And what a priority it is. The bearded miners are situated in Reefton and it's a place where you can learn more about the gold mining history of the area in a really unique way. It only cost a few gold coin donation for us to be able to spend up to half an hour with one of the bearded miner. They are not comedians or actors, those guys are actual miners that used to spend their time in the mine shaft in the area. They have heaps of souvenirs that they gather during their mining times, including gold nuggets and heaps of jewels. It's really awesome and they have a real insight in what used to happen back in the days. Our bearded miner is showing us heaps of stuff that we've never seen before, including gold, exactly as it is found in the wild, in a mine. I've never seen that before. We also see vial and sapphire and even fool's gold, which used to trick miners back in the days and people thought, oh my gosh, I just found heaps of gold and that was just not gold. He's also explaining us how they extract all those minerals and how they detect them to find where there is more of them. It's fascinating. It's a whole industry that Laura and I never knew anything about. This really is an example of raw New Zealand history, as if it was alive today. Talking with a guy who has spent decades in the mines is a really cool and original way to learn about this industry. And now he is teaching us the art of gold panning, which is actually a lot harder than it looks. There's a lot of skills, a lot of techniques, and a lot of patience when it comes to panning for a very little amount of gold. We can barely see the speck of gold that he managed to pan for after about 20 minutes of panning. Our time with Mr. Bearded Miner has come to an end and we can't leave Reefton without having one last hot chocolate and coffee from that coffee shop that we showed you yesterday on Broadway. And then we are going to be hitting the road towards Westport. And the road that is going to take us from Rifton to Westport is going through the mesmerizingly beautiful Buller Gorge. They are absolutely stunning. They are towering, thick, bushy mountains bathing in a massive wide river. It's absolutely amazing. I love this drive if you can't tell by the tone of my voice. And soon enough we arrive to the lovely township of Westport. This town right on the coast is one of the most iconic spots in the west coast. It's really well known for its surf but soon enough as soon as we check in in the Basil Hostel where we're going to be staying for our Westport exploration we learn that it's also an awesome spot to mountain bike. So our host there give us some mountain bike and send us on our way because we still have some daylight and they want to keep us busy. We're hitting the Kawatiri bike trails which is a whole network of mountain biking trails going through forest and lining the north beach of Westport. Most of the trails here at the Kawatiri Beach Reserve are super well maintained with gravel but somehow we do end up going off course a little bit into the muddy four-wheel drive tracks that we have no idea how we got here. We found our way back toward the track pretty easily. There is heaps of signs around and it's very easy to make our way back toward where we came from. We are heading back toward the hostel 
This was just a quick mountain biking trip, nothing really fancy. We just wanted to check out those areas so we can write about it for you guys on backpackerguide.nz. We will spend the evening in the hostel chatting with our host. They are really super sweet and relaxed people. They're all about surfing and they're talking us into joining them for a surf in the next few days. So we're gonna keep an eye on the forecast and soon we will be surfing. Today is day 101. I can't believe we already passed 100 days. I can't believe, I could not believe that in day 99. I could not believe that in day 100. And yet today, guess what? I can't believe it either. What? Crazy, right? All things don't change, as say the proverb from Chinese origins.